it's not as much about just the past. I love how you, I love, I love, um, Stories are entertaining. Yes. No, I lo yes, I love. You can't get it wrong, and you never get it done. Right. And you say. Uh, and the reason that you can't get it wrong is because you never get it done. And there was whatever you're living causes you to ask for. And yeah. I take so much comfort in when you're like, um, you could have twenty or thirty lifetimes, and you wouldn't get through all the work. At least, at least this is how I hear it. You wouldn't get through all the work that you have ready to pop because I feel like. I never run out of ideas and it feels like not as much I need to know the past and what I did back then but it feels like that feeling of time not existing which feels a lot better than shortage consciousness it's what really living in the now is and living in the now is understanding who you really are so that you can be aware of all that you are living right now there is so much more awareness of who you are and what's around you and who others are the deliciousness of life experience is so much more full than most people are in a position of understanding where once you get the sense of who you are and you begin practicing looking at this moment and this moment and this moment through the eyes of source then there can be so much more satisfying convergences of people and ideas and experiences that's what you're experiencing with the comic books and the movies and the collaboration that is coming and there's once you reach that place where you know that you are a collaborator and you allow yourself to collaborate with the whole of who you are not the past of who you are the present tense which you want to call future tense the present tense of who you are that's when life is really really rich when an idea occurs to you at the same time that it occurs to several people at the table and you've all been sitting there chewing in and the idea just hatches within all of you because you have lovingly brought each other through your association and through your focus together into this place of utter allowance and connection to inner being and then it's like you have one inner being that was the reason that we presented that to Jerry and Esther and Tracy in that way we wanted them to understand that consciousness is not linear like humans want to make it it's a stream of consciousness it's a stream of thought you have access to so much more than you know that you do and everything else is limiting is the other direction not as limiting like how you say this this group was gathered before this event happened like in a way that like time isn't linear like we think meaning um, when I make work and I step back from something and look at it like from far away I'll see like a theme I do abstract stuff and I'll see a theme here that connects up here in a perfect way that I didn't realize repeated that I didn't realize made but what we want picture. you to understand that that is that's the law of attraction satisfying the bag of marbles that you've got that's what it is it's happening in the moment precisely for you in other words these things that are connecting up are about your active vibrations going on we want you to take away from this conversation the powerfulness of your focus and how source energy the energy that creates worlds is going to focus with you and through you for the most satisfying experience that you can have and it isn't about who you used to be or who you will one day be it's about what you're doing right here right now by allowing yourself to be a cooperative component to everything that matters to you right now and everything that matters to you right now is not the same everything that's going to matter to you in the next moment and the next moment and the next moment and the next moment but this law of attraction and this worthiness that you've got this blessedness that you've got this reason for being this creativity that you are life is supposed to feel good to you it's supposed to be so much fun and it's not because others need to know it to revere you it's not because you're climbing the rungs of a ladder it's not because you're check getting the marks on the chart it's not for any other reason than that you are a creator and before you got here you said you were going to come here and do that what did you say you were going to do i'm going to feel good i'm going to feel life i'm going to expand I'm going to know more I'm going to be fresh and new I'm going to interact with others I'm going to uplift I'm going to be uplifted I'm going to have so much fun and you also knew that this one life experience wasn't going to be enough for you to do it all because you understood something about physicality you understood that physicality has some resistance in it and then in time you're gonna get bogged down in keeping score of what you've created so you said I won't be there long I'll stay while I'm fresh and frisky so 
That's the question. How fresh and frisky are you? How much fun are you having? How much are you pushing against or how much are you anticipating? You get to choose it all. Your physical apparatuses are restorative. They are renewed. You could stay in this body for a really, really, really long time. If your interest in life was calling it through you and the peanut gallery wasn't clamoring and causing you to hold resistance. This is the thing that you're dealing with all the time. Source is calling you. Are you going? Source is calling you. Are you going? Or are other physical humans influencing you to wait? Maybe I should take more score. Maybe I should measure myself against others. Maybe I should catalog and pigeonhole myself and everybody else more. That's what bogs you down is trying to be the law of attraction for everybody else. That's why we call Facebook Nosebook. <laughs> trying to get involved in things that don't have anything to do with your own point of attraction. Yeah. Yeah, you can probably tell that we are really not keen on talking a lot about what used to be. We're much more interested in not just what's in your vortex, but the thrill of you moving in the direction of what's in your vortex. The discovery, the anticipation, the adventure, the changing of your ideas, the blending with others, the joining with others who are also on this adventure, manifestation of vibration is just so delicious if you let it be yeah good yeah really good really good if you like this video don't forget to subscribe